In a previous video, up in the right hand corner, we talked about using a screw extractor set to get out that stripped hex nut. However, before you do that, there are some important tips and precautions that you must view and understand or you're going to damage the bolt, frame, or component. Let's take a look at these. In this video, we're going to be using a four-piece bit extractor set from China selling for around $10 on Amazon. There are others available, a similar unit from Speed Out for about $12.95, and the top of the line, less likely to break, the Grabit Pro, but that sells for close to $32. We're just going to use the cheaper model from China. The two bits themselves have two ends. One, a burnishing end or cutting tool that will fit into the end of the stripped hex nut and cut down to form a cone inside the head. The other end has a spiral in reverse direction so that once we've cut out the cone this will fit in and turn to remove the particular hex bolt. In selecting the extraction bit that you want to use, take a look at the burnishing end and try to find one that is the closest fit to the stripped hex bolt that you can find. The biggest mistakes people make are using a cutting or burnishing end that's too large that's going to remove the entire head as you drill in and leave the thread behind or even damage what's below the head of the hex bolt. If you use one that's too small, you're not going to form a nice cone for the other end, the extraction end, to remove the hex bolt. The other mistake people make is drilling too far into the stripped hex bolt. If you go too far, you may damage the underlying component or frame or break off the top of the hex bolt leaving the screw part attached. The most biggest danger again being damaging the underlying component and frame by drilling too far. You want to go about two millimeters into it that's about maybe a third of the way of the top of the hex bolt and drill to with the burnishing end to get a nice cone-like structure inside so that the removal end will grab and remove the strip bolt. If we look at some of the smaller bolts, this is a four, three, and two millimeter hex bolts that have been stripped. Using our burnishing tool, we can probably remove the four millimeter without too much problem it just, the burnish hand just fits, and we can go just a few millimeters in to create that nice cone for removal by the removal end. However, when we get down to some of the smaller bolts, the three and two, there's very little room for error. Although, in this case, the burnishing end fits, the chance of going all the way through is extremely great and to remove, try to remove this bolt by going only two millimeters in and not further and damaging the underlying component or frame is high. And I would only use it on a three millimeter stripped hex bolt as a very last result, resort. For the two we have no uh, room for error and I would not try to remove a two millimeter stripped hex bolt with a screw removal set. Another problem we run into is that after using the burnishing or cutting tool, we may not get a good cone shape, like an inverted ice cream cone, inside to allow the extractor tool to insert and remove the particular 
thread bolt. In which case, you can improve that using a drill. Don't go too deep to improve the nature of the cone shape to allow better insertion of the removal end and removal of the bolt. Before you attempt to remove a stripped hex bolt as we can see on this particular component, I use either some WD-40 or even better something called knocker loose which is a penetrant solvent that also gets rid of uh, rust and corrosion and spray carefully around the edge of the bolt where it inserts let it soak in and after about oh I would say maybe 15-30 minutes you can wipe it off if it's extremely rusty or corroded you may want to leave it for an hour or so make sure your drill is operating in reverse insert the burnishing end or cutting end and tighten and go ahead and drill checking frequently that you're not going deeper than the head of the hex bolt into the component or frame. Then switch to the removal end. Again, your drill should be in reverse. Operate it slowly. Hopefully it will fit into the cone. And remove the strip bolt as shown. Again, let me mention that not all extractor sets are equal. Some are better made than others. And we list that in the description below, and a lot depends on how much you want to spend on the particular set. If you use a, sc a screw extractor set, have comments, or run into problems with it, please comment below to, so I can pass that on to our other viewers. Subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed. Safe cycling.